Welcome back to another video. Welcome to my pantry makeover, organize, redo, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am excited for this video. I have been talking about it for a little while on my channel. This is one of the things, one of the uh, things in my list of things I had planned to do. Hopefully by the end of the summer, there's, I did Jackson's room. Now it's the pantry redo. I wasn't sure which one I was going to do next, but the pantry redo is coming up next. So I hope that you're excited about this video. I hope that this will maybe motivate you or inspire you to, you know, redo your own pantry. And when I say redo, redo is like a broad term. You can just, uh, maybe it'll inspire you to get in there and declutter it, to organize it. I think an organized space is so much less stressful than a cluttered space. I mean, I'm just the kind of person that really needs organization. And so my pantry, as you will see in a minute, is not organized and it is stressing me out. And I keep thinking, oh, but I'm going to organize it. I'm going to organize it. And I just don't do it. So it just never gets done. And it is time. Today is the day I'm getting it done. So I hope that this video will give you maybe the push that you need to do yours. Maybe yours isn't nearly as bad as mine, but we all need a little more organization in our lives. Am I right? And I have a small house, as you know, it's 1,100 square feet, so we try to squeeze out every square inch that we can, and my pantry is not being utilized, I don't think, in the best way. So I'm going to show you my pantry, and then I'm going to show you some of the organizational bins and jars and things that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks to try and get ready for this. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is a look at my laundry room slash pantry room. This is where we keep all, all of our cereal up here, obviously. <laughs> uh, this is laundry stuff and extra paper towels. And my washer and dryer are in here. And it is a very small room. I have actually a nice big, I think it's a pretty good size pantry considering the size of my house. And up here in the top is where we store a bunch of games and puzzles and extension cords. There's kind of several different things we use this for. And I'm not gonna be organizing this today. Today I'm going to focus on the bottom half, which is my pantry, so I do feel like I have to get back just to show it to you. <laughs> um, we did put a new floor in here, and we painted, I should say I painted, my husband put in a new floor when we redid our kitchen last summer, and I just need to clean it out. I have done this once before on my channel, but it's been several years, so I'm going to show you what the pantry looks like right now, so you can see where we are starting at, but it is packed full of stuff. So, <laughs> you can see why I need to do some organizing in here. It is so full. So, there's also not a light in here, so I'm going to do the best I can to show you without having a light above here. So, this was an addition onto our house when we um, bought the house. This was already built, and so you can see that it's, I don't know, it was kind of kind of halfway done. Marion did years ago go in, and it used to be just shelves on this side and they were they came out to here and they were wide and they were just it was a lot of wasted space and then this side was empty so I had him just put the shelves all the way across and put them further back so we had room and I do like it a lot better but I'll just go ahead and show you where everything is this is basically where I put my cans and my jars sauces syrup things like that it's a lot and then over here is like all my baking supplies and they're just hidden away in these boxes and it's so frustrating. I've got like cake plates and boxes and icing colors and these are my Atkins snacks. We just have everything just kind of thrown in here. Over here on this side I have my um, you know grill utensils and things like that. On the second shelf this is full of powdered sugar baking, baking things like that, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, 
all that kind of stuff, all my extracts. And then next to it is my basket with all my Walmart bags. I use these, just FYI, when I change my cat's litter box, I use these bags. Um, then over here, it's like, this is really old, this popcorn container back there. I have napkins, and then we just throw, kind of have to shove these bags up here because there's not enough room down in the bin where they're supposed to be. And then over here is just like boxes of things. And you can see it's just not enough room. It's just kind of overflowing. And then down here, this is kind of like a basket of miscellaneous. This is like rice and marshmallows. Just kind of like bags that are open that we, um, I don't know, just kind of bags and packets and things like that. This is the snack bin for our kids. It's kind of also got other things thrown in here too, but that's supposed to be for snacks. There's some more snacks right here. This is supposed to be the chips and it's overflowing. So chips are kind of popcorn and chips are everywhere. And then over here is thrown in just like all our paper goods extra tissues and forks and cups and things like that like when we have parties or whatever and then when i buy extra i can't buy a lot extra because i don't have enough room to store it so that's basically it and then down here is our recycle bins and they do look terrible they're overflowing so we're going to empty those but they fill up so fast it seems like as soon as i empty them like within a week they're full again so that is down on the bottom and then we have our animal, our cat and dog food containers. This is canned cat food. There's some goldfish. This is just like bottle drinks for Jackson for school. Then we have, I have my spin mop. And then over here I have my brooms and it is very, very, very full. And then on the doors, I bought these bins one time at, I think Ross, because I wanted to hang them on the doors to put my spices and I can't. So... <laughs> This is too thin. I, I couldn't close it. So Marion literally just put some screws in the door and we just hung it on the screws. And then there's another one over here with all of my sprinkles. I do make cakes and, and goodies for parties and things like that. So that has to, those have to go. But this is definitely a challenge to try and fit everything in here in an organized and neat way, but I'm excited to tackle it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take everything out of here and clean it and then these shelves at one time I painted my pantry yellow and then I went in and painted it white and I put these uh, shelf liners on but they're coming off here they never were I never like well they never really stuck to this so what I'm going to do is just take these off and paint the shelves white because everything else is already white but um yeah that's that, that first step is clearing this out because that's going to take that's going to be quite a chore so these are some of the jars that I have purchased. I purchased all these at Hobby Lobby. I did get these at Ross and TJ Maxx. I can't link any of these down below. I did get this big bin just from Walmart in their summer section. And then these plastic bins are from a company called Cape Bow. And they sent them to me in the mail. They sent me six of them. I do have one of them in my refrigerator being used right now because I couldn't resist. I stuck it in there and I'll show you that in a minute. But they're um, stackable bins. <clears throat> and they are non like they're shatter resistant which I really like so and they're also a little bit flexible so I definitely feel like they're not gonna crack or break as easily as some of the other ones I have used I apologize if you hear my dogs if you watch my videos you know my dogs are always <laughs> always barking but anyway I'm gonna show you these and how I use them in my pantry I'm excited so thank you Capebo for sending these to me I will link them down below if you guys are interested in them um, it is a six pack they sell them on Amazon and I think they're actually really pretty. The acrylic look is really in, I think. And I was excited because I want to have bins that I can actually see into so I can know, you know, what each of them holds. So I'm probably going to, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm using all of these in my pantry. If I don't use them all in the pantry, I will be using some in the refrigerator. That's probably my plan. I think I have plans for at least three of them that I know in my pantry for now. But we're going to see how we organize everything I have an idea in my mind but of course until I get in there and start putting things out I won't know exactly okay for real this time we're going to clean this pantry out now I have to set you guys up on my washer and dryer on my tripod and it's a tight fit so <laughs> I'm going to get the best angles that I can and like I said there's no light in here so please bear with me I might set you up there on my shelf maybe I'll set you up there you might have a better view up there okay that's a little better so Let's get busy getting all this out of here.
Okay, here's a look at my kitchen. I've got everything from the pantry pulled out and it is filling up my kitchen and I pulled out so many things that I know I do not need to put back in there. <laughs> so for now, this is where everything is and I'm gonna show you what the pantry looks like when it's empty. It's pretty disgusting. I need to really sweep and mop this floor. And then this is the shelves with the paper on them that I'm gonna actually just take off. Hopefully it just comes right up. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull these off and then clean and paint the, actually, actually, I don't know, they're kind of sticky. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna come off. I may end up having to get some more contact paper to put over the top of these. Anyways, I'm going to sweep it really good and clean the floor. There's just some pieces of dog food and all that, so I'm going to do that right now. That was on my pantry floor. That is disgusting. Okay, so I was, I, it was just easier to get down there on my hands and knees and wipe that floor. It wasn't very big. I did wipe these off. I'm going to let them dry and then I'm probably going to have to go pick up. I don't know. They're not that sticky. I've got to decide if I'm going to paint them. I'm going to let them dry and then I'll see how sticky they are. See if I need to put another layer or another, you know, what is that called? Contact paper. If I need to put another layer of contact paper or if I can just paint them. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and put these labels on. I just used my Cricut. I didn't show that in this video, but I did just print out all the labels. I previously, before I started this video, I went through and I figured out what I wanted to have uh, jars for and bins for. And I think I figured it out pretty close, but there's a few things like these bins. I'm not exactly sure what everything is going to go in, but I did make labels for these jars. I can't make labels for some of these, but um, I'm going to go ahead and you know, put these labels on all the jars so that these will be ready as soon as the shelves are ready. Okay, so these are ready to be filled whenever I'm ready. I did do some of them in white just because like chocolate chips are dark. So some are white labels, some are black labels. And I went ahead and labeled these two bins that I got. And then this big container from Walmart. These I did not label. I'll probably switch those around. And then these, none of these are labeled. So I think I decided that I'm going to go ahead and paint the shelves. And I just pulled out this white paint, just regular old white paint, and hopefully that will work.
All right, got the first coat on. There's a little um, spot right there where that is some old icing color. That stuff is very strong. It's so white in here that it's getting blurry when I try to go in there. <laughs> Anyways, I put the first coat on. I'm going to let that dry. Okay, the second coat of paint is on. Looks a lot better than with two coats. Definitely looks a lot better. And I even touched up the doors just a little bit where those baskets had like scratched. But I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go pick my son up from school, drop off the recyclables. When I get back, it'll be time to start putting all this stuff back in my pantry. <laughs> all right, I'm home now. And the shelves are actually not dry yet. But I did just put... I put my recycle bins they're always on that side over there but that then I don't know it's kind of hard to get to things in this corner so I thought maybe I'd put one here and one there and then I can use the center for things like my pet food bins and my mop and some other things so I'm gonna see if I like that but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and try to like go through everything weed through stuff see what's gonna be thrown out see what's gonna be kept fill my jars, things like that. That way whenever it's totally dry, I can just start putting things back in. Some things I won't know exactly where they're gonna go because I don't know how things are all gonna fit in there. Also, this is being done kind of vlog style. I hope that's okay. I usually end up doing my room makeovers and things like that vlog style. It's just easier that way than having to go do a voiceover at the end and keeping everything like short and sweet. So I hope that you like this. If not, maybe you'll just fast forward and get to the end. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start um, going through all of this stuff. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you got Started to 
change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Ooh. 
All right, it is a couple hours later and I am finally finished and it feels so good to have that done. I feel like my pantry was so nasty after I pulled everything out and I don't know how things get so dusty in there, but they did and things had spilled in like my baking containers and there was cocoa powder everywhere. And anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of and then I'll show you what the pantry looks like. To me, it looks totally different. I don't know if it'll look totally different to y'all because I used some of the same containers and then I have a lot of clear containers, but it's so much more organized and so much cleaner. So I'm gonna show you right now what I am gonna store in the basement and what I'm actually throwing away. So this stuff I'm gonna actually put down in the basement to keep down there instead of in my pantry where I don't have room for it. Um, this is, we like to make up homeless bags for homeless people and we keep them in the car. So this is just going to be my bin where I throw all the things until we need to make up more. We keep like a couple in each car at a time and then when we need more we'll put them in. And then I also, my mom gave me these a while back and I like to, uh, I, I keep thinking I'm going to make some bags for people with pets. Like sometimes you see some people with like dogs. So we'll make special ones for that. But these are just some spices and things I'm going to store in the basement because I just don't have room up here. And then down here, all this is going to be thrown away. So I feel like I threw a lot away. Plus I did throw a lot in my trash can. And I also have a lot to recycle. A lot of boxes already filled up my recycle bins. So I'm going to show you the pantry now. I'm going to show you some of the befores. And then I'll show you what it looks like after so you'll see the difference. use my can organizer which I've never had one of those and I really do like it I didn't know if it would fit in here very well but these boards do not go all the way back to the wall there's a gap so I couldn't put things all the way back they could fall but now with this I can push it back and I even have some room in the front if I get more cans I did just go grocery shopping a few days ago so we should be good <laughs> and then I just some of the bigger things that don't fit on it over there and then these clear bins are so great for just like keeping things separated and organized and also I was thinking this is great because it protects this wood just to have these instead of just the raw you know just the shelf with the new paint on it I figured this would help it from getting scratched up and stuff but I'll tell you this is my this is kind of a little bit miscellaneous it's just like sauces and um dressing and then these are my broth some ice cream toppings this is like oils and syrups. And then this one is some snow cone stuff and vinegar and coconut oil. And then these are all Jackson's drink packets and some other drink mix. And then I ended up putting the Pringles up here just because I had a little space. And, you know, those will get eaten though. And then over here are my two uh, wire bins, wire baskets with all my baking things. And I know this is like the paper you know paper baking cups plastic gloves plastic bags all those kinds of things and then this one has like the ingredients a lot of my um, extracts and ba extra baking powder baking soda things like that all my baking stuff cocoa powder meringue powder vanilla 
So now when I'm baking, I can just grab that easily, pull it out, put it back in. These are so great because I can pull these out if I need to, um, you know, just pull them out. And I didn't label these just because I'll probably switch things around with them. I don't know that they'll always be this way, so I thought it'd be easier just to leave them plain. And also they have this little handle right here to pull them out. These actually stack, so if you have, um, you know, smaller items, you could stack them up and really save some space and add more space up high. If I had some things that were smaller and thinner, it would be nice to stack them all up. But sure you check the description box for the link for those if you're interested in those. And then down here is just my boxes where I had boxes before, but I did go through and get rid of some of them. And then I have a couple of these bins down here that I did label. This has packets and this has pasta and obviously just all my pasta is in there. And then just different small packets and um, just it's nice to have all these together because these were all just down here in this bin and I always had to pull it out and dig through them but now I know where they're right where they are and then these are my Dollar Tree bins I just put all my you know sprinkles and icing colors I do um, make cakes and cupcakes and cookies and things like that for um, I do take orders for those so I do want to be able to get to those easily and I also want them not to leak out on my shelves so in these little containers that should hold them nicely and these are all our sprinkles just for different things I bake and then also here are my all my glass jars that I labeled so this will be nice to I've never like had my powdered sugar and my brown sugar <laughs> in containers so this is super nice to just be able to grab one of these and they're fresh and it I know how much is left I don't have to search around for the baggie full uh, you know like a big baggie f with the powdered sugar in it or whatever it's so nice that's gonna be so nice and then my baking soda my baking powder I really really love those and then this is my bin from Walmart with all my paper goods and it is much more organized than it was before and then of course this is the chip bin I did uh, go through that and get rid of a few things but that is always overflowing and this is a little bin of just like mom's snacks so nobody grabs these these are mine these are like my healthier kind of you my Atkins bars and my love good fat bars and I have a link down in the description box if you're interested in these for 20% off they're um, keto friendly bars and then just like some other snacks that I you know try to eat healthy so that I don't grab any of this because this is the kids snacks this is you know this is all the good stuff <laughs> but you know like for school lunches things like that they're always hungry so that is the kids snack bin and then right here this is a bin with just different bags um, things like croutons and I actually have my rice in there just that's kind of like a catch-all but I know what's in there so I went ahead and kept kept that bin the way that it was because I really don't have anywhere else to put it because you know I'm kind of using up every square inch of this pantry but I did separate the two bins so that I could easily access the middle because it's kind of hard getting over into this corner when all I had was this side to use but it's very important that we um, recycle so we definitely don't want to get rid of our recycle bins and those two bins just fit in this pantry so well that I'm I don't want to get new ones because I, I probably should get new ones that match but whatever I these fit in here and I just kept them and then these are our pet food bins and one is cat food, one is dog food, and then these are my can cans of cat food. I also used another one of these little plastic bins down here, and that is better than that box I was using. Um, and then the drinks for school lunches, juices, things like that. Then we have charcoal, and then my big mop. I really want to keep that up here so that I can get it easily. I could put it in my basement, but I like it right here. And then this is just rock salt for our ice cream maker, which is in the basement. And then over here we do just have our um, barbecue tools and pokers and things like that. They're just stored along the side. And then also on this side I have my brooms, my dustpan. This is my outdoor broom. And then I also have um, behind it back there is the mop head or the pole for my mop. So I did use one last of the bins for my butter in the refrigerator so this is pretty handy I really would like another whole set of them because I'd love to store like my meats and my tortillas and things like that but those are really handy to have and I like the size of them and I like this they're stackable and also they're not breakable so <laughs> that's pretty important 
And then last but not least, I just hung my Walmart bags up here so that they don't take up any space on the shelf and they're very easily accessible. Okay, so that is it for this pantry redo, organize, makeover, whatever you want to call it. It feels so much cleaner. It's so nice to know that everything has gone through and things have been gotten rid of that were old or don't aren't being used. And it's going to be so nice to just go right to what I need. I love an organized space. It makes me so happy and much less stressed. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.